Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to discuss about OAuth 2.0 for service now inbound authentication. So we will be doing the inbound integration in which uh, service now will be acting as a publisher. So for those, we need to do uh, say the authentication details as well with the third party application. So in, we can do authentication through basic authentication or through OAuth 2.0. So ServiceNow supports OAuth 2.0. OAuth 2.0 has a few, or we will say like many advantages over the basic authentication. It act uh, like it works based on SSL. It provide more secure uh, security while you are transmitting the data uh, through REST. Then Again, it, it basically doesn't require every time to pass uh, credential with the request. The authentication happens through access token in OAuth 2.0. So many client uh, prefer to use OAuth 2.0. So in those cases, when you will be sharing your inbound API, client will ask you to share the OAuth 2.0 details so that they can use that for authentication purpose so that they can perform the things allowed by inbound API, which you are going to share. So what basically you need to share. So in service now, uh, we have two type of uh, basically grant type through which a third party tool can authenticate. One will be your password. So I'll come to here. That will be password or it could be refresh token. So these are the two type of uh, grant type which are supported by OAuth 2.0 in service now. Okay. So now second thing you will be sharing client ID for OAuth 2.0. Another thing you need to share client secret. And you need to share a user name and a password. So username and password would only be required when grant type will be password so if they are going to use the grant type as password then user id password would be required if grant type is going to be refresh token then they will be getting the access token through refresh token then username password would be won't be required so basically what happens here so when a uh, third party tool try to kind of uh, access the api if you are using 2. Point or 2.0 so first they have to get the access token in these cases api get authenticated through access token so they need to get a access token through which they can send a request to service now api so first time they always need to get that access token through username and password and then when they will be getting the access token with username and password, they will be getting a refresh token as well with that. So for the second time, they can use refresh token to get the access token instead of username and password. So two things are important, access token. And another thing is the refresh token. When client or third party application makes a request for the access token using username and password then they will be getting two things in the response that will be access token and refresh token now for the second time when they will be trying to get kind of access token then they can use this refresh token which they have get as part of first request and they need not to send the username and password and while getting the access token through refresh token grant type will be refresh token
this is how uh, you can get the access token so main thing is access token need to be with the third party tool or the third party app which is going to consume the service now actual api now we will switch to service now instance and see how we can set up this in service now to share these things with third party tool so here you need to go to application registry and you will see many other application registry already there you need to create a new for your new application then here you need to select first option create an oauth api endpoint for external client now you can give a short name you can give a meaningful name with that with which tool you are integrating according to that this client id will be generated by service now automatically client secret also you need to leave blank and this will be generated by default now once you save it you will see client secret is also generated now if you want to see this client secret you can click on this lock icon and then you will be seeing this client secret now there is a life span of access token and refresh token so by default it's uh, 1800 minutes that will be approximately thir uh, 30 seconds uh, for the access token so that means if third party tool is going to get an access token that will be valid for just 30 seconds you can increase or reduce it service now recommends uh, this limit that's why it is by default then refresh token it's uh, something like this so, uh, sorry it's in seconds so it would be something 100 days now you can again increase or decrease according to your requirement but always uh, try to keep access token life uh, short and refresh token life as long because access token is something which will be used for the api authentication and if it is a kind of uh, valid for more time the there could be impacts of that now once you registered it you can go to you can go to like uh, you can share it with your customer or your kind of uh, third party tool so you need to share these client secret and client id so they were generated in our application registry now how you can use them okay before sending them maybe it's good to test it okay so what i will do i will share api now here another thing you need to share one thing is you generated the application registry through that you generated the client id and client secret and third thing is the url through which they will be hitting using this client secret and client id so they need to use the post method and here will be the url so this url you need to share underscore token dot do this is the endpoint or url with the post method you need to share with the third party application for getting the access token now body it need to be url encoded and then the parameter which we discussed need to be passed here so grant type should be password and client id we'll copy it client secret and 
we will use username i will put and password now if you will send this request okay access denied oh i think we have put wrong client id let me correct it okay now let's try okay so if you see you will get access token and refresh token the same kind of thing the consumer tool will be getting so now they can pick this refresh token from here and they can send this refresh token as part of api request now for the second time as this refresh token is going to be valid for longer time instead of using these username password they can use this refresh token as well so what i will do i will use here as refresh underscore token and what i will do i will put it here i just wanted to validate uh, i can get this refresh token using the sorry uh, access token using the refresh token right now i am going to get the access token using the refresh token which i received through password uh, user and password request so if i send it see i again got it so for the first request always you need to use username and password but for the subsequent request as this refresh token has a kind of longer life you can use refresh token for getting the access 